Hey everyone, it's Matt Kloss from Big Brother 25. I'm here on the Zach Nichols podcast to talk about all the cool stuff that happened on Big Brother. All right, y'all, welcome back to the Zach Nichols podcast. I'm here with my co-host, Mr. Zach Nichols. And I'm here with fucking Goldberg. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. It's the goalie! It's the goalie, dude. And but I do, more importantly, and before I, yeah. you start talking about yourself. Go ahead. <laughs> You're right. We got? <laughs> we got Big Brother we got? 25 runner-up. Gold medalist in the Deaf Olympics. Is that all right? Correct. Mr. Matthew Klotz is in the building. One more come big on, round of come applause. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Dude. So, my first question is second place really like kissing your sister? Oh, come on, man. Is it's it like it? that? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> That's That's what say, right? Second place, tying. It is. It's he has worst. a second place. I got a lot uh, of second places. Yeah, he has a second place. My but... fucking case is full of bronze medals. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's great to have you. Thank Welcome you, Richard. Thanks for coming through. Man. through man. Start to be here. Sunshine. Yeah. That yeah. nice, those locks. How does it feel to have long hair? Good. He, he Good. used he used to have short swimmer. Yeah, he used to Yeah, did you wear a swim cap? <laughs> I do. I gotta button it up, put it in a cap. That's how it's still alive. I mean, you see most swimmers my age, they're kind of balding already. They yeah, lose man. it all. Uh yeah. twenty yeah. twenty uh, You're a survivor, seven, right? brother. You are a survivor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With that nice hairline. <laughs> Zach is Zach is very jealous. He used to have the Thorga thing going on. Actually, I'm not jealous anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you went straight head. I'm a little too, too old to have like the long hair. You know, are you saying I'm immature like being over 30 and having long hair? Are you single? Yeah. Do you have buzz leg gear on your neck? I do. I'd say you'd still get away with it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I, on the other hand, have three kids and a whole ass mortgage. You do have two a whole dogs. Ass yep. One wife, two weddings. <laughs> Let me hear it. Anyways, You're spending bread. No, it's really great to have you. For You're, real, man. From Washington down to LSU, that's a big change. Culture shock. Yeah. Would you like better the Northwest or the Bayou? Oh, man, I think they both have their pros and cons. I mean, C C California is obviously super nice, you know, kind of bougie and all that. And then you Hell got yeah, the brother. swamp and then, <laughs> you know, you got the culture there. So, like, I think it was kind of cool living both worlds, you know. Comes down to the cuisine, right? Yeah. What's, like, a big thing to eat in the Northwest? I don't even know. Yeah, is there a signature? Like, I don't know. Like, if you're, like, 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 like in like Washington, Louisiana. like, what's, like, or, a big... I'm I know. California. 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 Yeah. Oh, you said, okay. So, Northern California. My bad. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking Northwest. <laughs> yeah. Watching Riverdale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's in... Come on. I, I love California. Let's you can't do. get that, that wrong. That's what it is. No, so, Tahoe. Let's, uh, let's jump in. I want to know, what... Did you ever... Did you watch Big Brother, like, in... You know, in Northern California, like, was that something you grew up watching or what? What I grew up watching was Survivor. Yeah. I was a big fan of Survivor. Every day after practice, I go home. It was like, what, Wednesday lives? I would always watch them on Wednesdays with my family. Uh, that was really the only reality show I really watched growing up. Uh, big Brother, not till like, 2020. Who were some of your Survivor influences that you really liked? Like, who were your guys? Um, if you were like, I, when you were watching, were you like, I want to be that guy someday? It's hard to remember the names because there's just so many names every season. Yeah. Uh, I just, I knew Suri. She was on a bunch. Um, I had to think of their names. Um, I liked Xander. Xander. Um, okay. He was, I really liked him when I watched this season. I have no idea who that is. So. He was. No, I don't, but. I know very something. few Survivor people. Yeah. Yeah. What'd she, you think about, uh, like, I know, like, uh, Probably my favorite Survivor person was Danny McRae, just because he killed the challenge. Did you watch his uh, season of Survivor? No, nah, I don't think no? so. Well, that's there's cool. so many seasons of everything, yeah. so it's like hard to keep yeah. up. So yeah. you're not a Big Brother guy. You do like Survivor. Did you like like talk about your? How did you get cast? And like, when did you even care to get cast? Like, I know you yeah. had a lot of pursuits before that. Yeah. So it, they reached out. Uh, so a couple casters reached out, right? during covid um so it was kind of like a weird timing because there was just nothing going on but then i got reached out i kind of thought it was spam because you get the spams all the time on instagram so i was a little hesitant i tried it out you got headhunted by the big brother people? dude i think i think we can pretty much say that that is well how they do business like, you didn't even you didn't even reach out to them no never reached out yeah, you had a lot of topless me. shirts on your instagram don't you that probably helped my and my the hair the, the gorgeous the hair, and the 75 abs yep <laughs> yeah <laughs> well like you're probably the fourth or fifth person maybe that have told us like hey they reached into mm -hmm. my dms and they wanted they wanted me i think kylan's literally the only big brother person i've ever talked to that's like oh no like i applied like multiple times but yeah. um but yeah so they God, i would love to get my hands on his videos <laughs> <laughs> so they, yeah. they hit you up yeah, they hit me up. Uh, it was a whole. It was a whole process. So in 2020, they reached out. And it was like a month before casting closed. I was very unprepared because I just didn't know anything. Like I'm kind of clueless sometimes. So like, 
when I wasn't really full sold on it yet. So I was just kind of doing it for fun and I didn't get it. Um, but they really liked me. The casters liked me. Then someone from Love Island was casting, reached out to me. <laughs> Not a bad show either. Um, yeah, I mean, for you. Uh, <laughs> I made it to the semifinals and I was literally waiting to get like, you're in or you're off when I was at USA Nationals. So I was kind of like, am I going or not? Didn't make it. So I was like, damn, semifinals. Okay, that's not bad. No, it wasn't semifinals. It was actually finals. So I was like, the, at the next US person. Nationals for, yeah. Yeah. And then it was finals for Love Island. Didn't get that. Survivor reached out. Same. Uh, oh Master my gosh. Pool. Were you fired up for Survivor? I was. I was a little oh. hesitant because I was just like, I don't know if I want to start myself out there. Do I want the, or I was going to say, I would have been thinking like, do I really want to go through this process to get to the very end? And then I can't imagine like to get the very end of that. Like I think about my real world casting or, and then they would just be like, oh yeah, by the way, no, thanks. You were the last person we decided not to go with. You're like, thanks, I guess. No, I I felt that a lot because I was like, you know. Yeah, the letdown's tough. Like you're just being finalist for Love Island, didn't get it. Semi-finals for Survivor, didn't get it. Got to meet Jeff Probst and all that. Yeah, and then this year was Big Brother, and I was kind of like, I want to do it, but I don't want to be upset again. Yeah, you stop know? dangling the carrot. Yeah, it felt like my friends were like, yo, like this is my third year now being reached yeah. out. And I was like, y'all are reaching out to me. I'm not applying. So, like, y'all like yeah. teasing me here. Yeah. They're like, hey, come, come. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Not good enough this year. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's crazy and like honestly that really does speak to like i think there's something to be said about somebody who goes for the opportunity and someone who's just like thrust upon it you know mm-hmm. and just the psyche is, is different because even though you were you know a, a survivor fan or you're not reaching out for that you're not going for mm-hmm. that they they're literally wanting you in the natural progression it's, it's kind of crazy like without having that mindset without preparing at all you were able to get into the final two of a game that you don't have extensive experience in yeah, I know. And, and uh, at that time, I was just focused on swimming. So it was kind of like just uh, for fun. So I wasn't like even sure about everything yeah. yet. Similar kind of like what Zach had going on. So Zach was, you know, you're playing football and this opportunity just came upon, you know. Yeah, I was just in the right place at the right time. But then mm-hmm. I did start going to everything when yeah. the lady was like, hey, show up here. Yeah, and I f- feel like that is your opportunity. So talk to us about like where are you with swimming right now and like your life? Yeah, so obviously I swam since I was like nine, so f- almost my whole life. Um, then COVID happened. I quit. Um, a lot of drama happened quit, there. Quit what, college? Uh, so I graduated right when COVID hit. And so there was that awkward year of no training. So I basically kind of just retired unintentionally because there was no training. Mm-hmm. Um then there was drama with the old coaches um and new coach came in from michigan actually yeah um uh, great one of my one of my all-time favorite coaches he came in said hey i want to train you i know you're still in baton rouge uh you know i know you want to train and you know he know who so I were you was. on lsu swim team i was so i was there for four years five years so I oh, a yeah. year and a gap year so, so you're like a, two years you're a sec so we train yeah we have a division one, mentality, yeah we have a division yeah. one lsu go tigers in the house round of applause go for the tigers yeah. go tigers baby go tigers go tigers the, the best tigers. time was my senior my senior year it was 2019 90 champs with joe burrow mm-hmm. so that was the best time to oh my be gosh there. what a time yeah. to be in baton rouge for real yeah. man what it's and in- it was in new orleans for the game so, so everyone in Baton Rouge was on the streets of New Orleans. Yeah. So freaking cool. And like that he was the man. I, I, I we're Ogeron, man. Hope you're doing good, Coach Ed. Uh, no, I'm saying Burrow, dude. He, oh. was, I, he was one of the few people outside of Michigan that I liked. Yeah. Like quarterback. Yeah. I'm mean, usually just Michigan football, but yeah. And, cool. and his story is like, you know, it's, 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 I, think I liked him because he left Ohio State. He left, yeah. he left Ohio State. Dude, start the guy starts like one, two years. <laughs> Natty, you know, so yeah. it was awesome. So I, I was gonna save it for what later. What was your events? Let's hear them. Like, what, yeah, what was uh, your was, like go to sprint, backstroke, sprint free? Um, I was really good at long course swimming. So college swimming is short course. I was still good. I mean, I was still making finals at SECs and all that. Creating wakes. Um, what's that? Creating wakes. Yep, yep. Doing all that. Um, but long course was my thing because I was just so much better. The swimming part it's mm-hmm. weird because in swimming short course there's a lot of underwater i was more on top of the water guy sprinter so long course was my thing um 2019 i went against ryan lochte that was my biggest like i think my beat biggest his excitement ass. you whooped his, his ass. ass did you sorry ryan lochte yeah hell yeah um, round of applause he, please yeah like, and that's like my role model so it's no disrespect at all because this is a guy no it is for me a punk <laughs> 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 And he Just was on he was on Big Brother Celebrity. He yeah. was on Trader, so it was kind of cool seeing like 
all right, I beat him in swimming. Now let's go beat him on Big Brother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Um, so your time in, in Baton Rouge, real quick. I had this for later, but since we talked about it, like, do you have favorite LSU athletes? Like, give me a couple of your favorite LSU athletes. Yeah, I would say, I mean, Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase. Yeah. Mean, those guys are legends, especially them two together. Um, I mean, LSU is, you know how it is. It's like, prestige. They're just so, yeah, like, you have elite, like, not even just elite, but, like, stellar elite Cream athletes. of the crop. You got yep. Libby Dunn. You've got... Um, I, you got um Shaq, Daniel Reese, Shaq. Yeah, and you got yeah, yeah. all the like, Odell Senior, right? Odell, yeah, because was yeah. roommates with Shaq. You got <laughs> Odell Senior. Odell Senior. I thought he was roommates with Shaq at oh, LSU. I, I could be know. wrong, oh, dude. No one said Pistol Pete. Oh, but Big Marovich. Yeah, yeah no, this crazy? iconic, iconic, iconic. He's still the greatest college player of all time. Talk about yeah, no, he's. He's him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a great college. I bet the parties there are just oh, yeah, they dude. Are. They're, they're crazy. Talk I mean, I have my fun. Rooms. Like, I mean, yeah. you know, like it was actually my first like two, three years. I wasn't really allowed to party because I had a lot of rules because yeah. I was actually overcoming a brain injury. Oh, that, wow. uh, had post concussion syndrome. I was out. Actually, that's why I was a red shirt because I came to LSU, was out for six months, couldn't drive, couldn't watch TV. So I was got I was rocked, fucked huh? up. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was fucked what, up. Would you dive into the pool without water? You would think. You would think. Uh, no, I got hit by a semi truck. Oh, what? Yeah, I just got That's fucked. a cool ass story. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, you should have seen the other guy, huh? <laughs> right, right. But, Wait, I mean, the I other a, guy with a big truck. How I was it? I, I need a play by play. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got to hear. You don't just be like, oh yeah, I got hit by a semi truck. <laughs> oh yeah, what what's next? No, I what happened? How did that happen? Did he just what he didn't see you? Dumbass was on his phone. Oh my god. I, I saw it happening too because of be coming off the freeway. So he's coming at me. Oh, okay, okay. So in, a car. in your car. Yeah, I was in my car. Oh, I you thought, thought you just got his head on. I'm oh, like, this guy's I think are I, you serious? I'm like, yo, oh my no, god, she no, took a hand on. You know I mean? That would be cooler, but I feel like I would be Whoa, a way worse. Okay, thing. no, so yeah, you were in a what? What kind of car are you in? Uh I was in an expedition, so a Ford Expedition. So I still had a big car. Luckily, I think if that was a small car, it would have been worse. That's right. That's Detroit. Good thing it wasn't a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't look like a Prius. So they, a yeah, got you. So they hit you in the semi. Man, that's fucking nuts. So yeah. you go through this traumatic brain injury uh -huh. to go on to be a Division One in the SEC with mm -hmm. some of the best athletes in the world, and then you were able to, you know, be in the mix. So wow, like I mean, I don't know. That's impressive, Where man. That? Where do the kids that go to like the SEC schools go on spring break? Like where do you got like probably Florida, Florida, oh, Florida. You know it's, it's Florida. Yeah, yeah. You drive Forty minutes get to the beach. And it's, Daytona, yeah, it's not baby. far. It's like a yeah. three, two and a half drive. Everyone yeah. goes to Panama Beach. Oh, are there um, any uh, yeah. like like sneaky places? Like I didn't know about. You know, people are like all oh, the Alabama shores. Is there any other places down there like you would recommend? Like if you want to go to an awesome beach, but like no one really knows about it. I couldn't any, say that. No, I mean, you don't know. Louisiana is like. There's no beaches. I mean, there's beaches in Louisiana, but there's yeah, gators. We're not, we're, not going, we're not going to those. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, Anyways, right. let's get into your big brother season. Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. What, what was I your... got a few questions. But yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Zach. Actually, so my first one is, when you guys get there and, like, you're lined up, yeah. you've never seen anyone else no. that's in the house. So that's the first time you meet each other is when mm -hmm. you're all standing there, and you probably can't talk until you get in the house. So yeah. you're standing there amongst, what, 13, 16? 16, yeah. Other people 16. who you've actually never met until right now there's got to be like commercial breaks and stuff. Like, are they like, don't talk, don't talk? That concludes the free preview of the Zach Nichols podcast. So go to Patreon and subscribe to see the rest of the shit that we talk. Go do it now.